So, hey, everybody, this is Camille Westmoreland Trey with Camille. And um, the series of videos that you are about to watch are geared towards cryptocurrency. I'm not for an exchange right now, but cryptocurrency. And it's not necessarily about the strategies of buying and selling um, through the different exchanges and things like that. But this series of videos is for people who want to get into the cryptocurrency space, um, but it's new to them and they actually just pretty much need help getting things set up. And so the series of videos that you're going to be looking at are giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get set up and get yourself in position to be able to invest or buy cryptocurrency. So there are going to be six videos following this particular video. So first of all, I want to congratulate you on taking the step to, you know, venture out into something new that you've never, you know, done before. And so um, what I do want to say is a couple of things that just make note, um, it's definitely a new space. Uh, the steps that I'm going to give you may seem like a lot, but just stop, do the steps and start planning again so that you have everything in position the way that you need to have it in position to um, start playing around in the market. Um, also, um, it's very important that you keep up with all your passwords. It's also important that you keep up with every code that they give you. Um, the crypto space is very different than anything else. So a lot of those codes are extremely important. And so you want to make sure that you keep access to them because if you lose them, it's a potential um, that you could lose your coins and therefore lose your money. So you definitely don't want to do that. And so being careful and keeping track of everything um, that you receive when connecting with the different exchanges and things like that is extremely important. So I would definitely encourage you to write it down. I also encourage you to get some type of a flash drive or cloud or something where you can have this information in multiple places. Um, one of the last things that I'll mention, and as you start really jumping into the crypto space and, you know, have more money in there, I definitely will recommend that you get what's called a ledger. And a ledger is basically a place for you to store your cryptocurrency without leaving it in the other exchanges because these exchanges are businesses as well so they can close or get hacked or you know different things like that so in the beginning don't really worry about that too much i would say um i just want to make sure that you get started and then you know we can go from there so um anyway get ready to go ahead and hit play on the first video and also at the bottom of the website um if you run into any snags or anything like that please make sure to drop a message and somebody will get back with you to answer your question to make sure you're good to go so we're excited and congratulations once again